Uh, hi, Ella. Hi, Aaron. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me. And uh, first of all, I want to say congratulations on a great show, a great performance. I watched the first four episodes and I'm completely in love with it already. I'm a big Fallout oh. fan. So thank, thank you for that. Good. good to hear. Um, I want to start with you, Ella. You play as the as a very unique character in the Fallout world, the, the innocent vault dweller who, at the same time as the audience, learns about the wasteland, the world. Um, how did you prepare for this role? Did you actually play some of the games or...? I did, yeah. I um I played the game, but I wasn't getting very far. Uh, so I, I thought it would be better to watch other uh, better, more experienced people play the game. So I spent a lot of time watching them uh, on Twitch and YouTube. Um, also, just looking. I mean, that's the nice thing about doing an adaptation, and especially one like this, where there's just so much information out there. Um, you know, there's decades of law and 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 um history behind the game so you, there's a lot to sink your teeth into I, I really wanted to understand as much as i could about uh vault dwellers and vault tech as a company uh to give me an idea of where this might be going um in the first four episodes i can already tell a little bit where vault tech is going but uh yeah funny to see that you uh really really dug into the uh, into the lore of Fallout. Um, Aaron, I want to extend the question to you. Did you play any of, of the games or did you also opt to watch uh, other creators uh, play? I, I opted to watch other creators play. I, I still haven't uh, played the game. Um, but, you know, we were prefaced uh, specifically that, you know, we wouldn't find our characters in the game. So to prep those, you know, the, the Maximus and Lucy, you know, we knew that we would be on our own a little bit, which was really uh, a great freedom and a great joy uh, in approaching, you know, the the project. Um, but again, yeah, it's uh, it's it's an amazing thing. Tone was pretty important, though, to also mm -hmm. kind of understand what you know uh, seasoned players of the game really enjoyed, and 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 sort of hear them talk about the things and aspects that they they always find fun. That that was actually really helpful, especially even. Howard Cummings and our amazing uh, scenic designer and his team, you know, the things, the detail and depth that they were putting into every set, every location. Um, those are things that we were able to at least like explore visually from the game before even starting our production. Yeah, it's funny that you mentioned that because that's actually one of my next questions because Fallout has like this unique blend of adventure, uh, horror, but it's also very funny. So, so how do you... Like, don't tip the skills too far to the funny side or too far to the horror side with your character. Was that easy to do for you guys? Or well, Geneva and Graham and and uh, they, they they were writing amazing scripts. You know, uh, every time. I mean, in, uh, including just the approach, the pilot. You know, and in 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 my approach to, you know, the the world for the first time, I was surprised by it, which I think fans of the game will recognize. But I was surprised by it. And I think newcomers to to the franchise are going to be surprised as well at, at how funny it is. Um, I do think these characters being multidimensional is how we navigate that, um, is that there then becomes an opportunity for so much mining of the material in certain situations. We, we have a scene going a certain way and we get the opportunity to say, what else is here, you know? Uh, maybe, you know, with all the detail and depth around us, you know, maybe this character finds this funny or at the same time uh, as another character finding it horrifying on a screen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's also about collaboration and trusting the people that you work with. And when you get Absolutely. to work with a wonderful scene partner like Aaron or Walton, you <laughs> say more. You get to say um, try it a thousand different ways and every take is different. And really, you're, you're playing one line, funny, sad interested, curious, you know, a hundred different ways. And, and it's the editors and the directors who are finding the tone and the pace, pacing the, the show throughout. Definitely. I, I think that all comes together in the in the first town you visit and all you three, the three characters come together for the first time. Right. It, uh, it, it's, it's a great scene. Um, I have time for one more question and it's for you, for you personally. If you guys had to survive in the world of Fallout, what would you choose to do? Would you hide in a vault? Would you be a merchant? Would you become a raider? What would you personally do? Oh, become a raider? That's interesting. I wouldn't do it, but, you know, it's fun to think about. I, I would hope that I could be in a vault for, for, for the sake of the luxury. <laughs> but I don't know. I do know that I would have to be factioned up in some way. I wouldn't want to be a lone wanderer, I don't think. I don't think I would survive very long that way. 
Mm. I think everyone it would have, you know, it's a tough decision. Everybody who would pass up the opportunity to be in a nice comfy vault with a nice hot shower and and food and shelter um, when the bombs are falling. I, I think that's probably what I would go for. Yeah, I, I think Faltech would be very happy with you, Ella. This is great promotion for them. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment. It seems uh, <laughs> complex, that one. Yeah, yeah. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Uh, have a great day and uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully another season. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much.